And as much as he wants to focus on the task at hand, all the talk about the chase for the record is going to dominate anything else happening on the field. This is pretty special. And now Nick Gordon. Nobody out. Runner at first. And there's a foul ball. Makes a sliding stop. Terang tossed to second. Third baseman number two. Jazz Chisholm Jr. now. He's already homered here in this one. And that's a base hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. But that's a poor stroke. Here's the second baseman, Nicky Lopez. Swing and a liner foul off to the right. Runners at first and second with one gone at bottom half of inning number two. Line drive. He dives, but he can't make the catch. Throw back in, holds the runner at third. Base is now loaded. Only one away. Now it's the DH. Luis arrives. Golden opportunity right here. That one is absolutely belted. Adios! And they add on. It's five zip. The brighter the lights, the more he shines. Yeah, this guy lives for big moments, and right there made a statement big time. Well, he comes through big time at the Grand Slam here, but you also got to give some credit to the guys ahead of him. Good at bats to get on base and really set the table for a very special moment in this one. Jake Berger, the next up for the Marlins. Back up the middle and a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is. Oh, now this is blasted way back there on its way. Go on. It's their second home run of the inning, and they throw a pair on the board. It's 7-0. Ziggy, that's his 50th career homer. 50 might not sound like a huge number, but it's a nice little milestone that a lot of guys don't get to. I'm excited to see that one again, but with the stack cast data, because that was a bomb. Oh, says he drove it out of here at 115 miles an hour. I think I heard the ball screaming on its way out. And that's some serious exit below. Pretty elite, man. He caught it just right to get it up in the air as well. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Aaron Ashby won't go any further tonight. And as he heads off, we'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher after this break. So out of the pen comes the right-hander, Trevor McGill. Now, I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but he's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. Willie Adamas stands in. This one in the air right field. Tracks it down for the out. Two away down. Now it's the right fielder, Abasayu Garcia. Over one so far. Garcia. Yeah. 
in the air right side and that's the third out. And we're back. Top half of the third board. inning. This is Bryce Terang. Bryce Terang. Paris back to work. Just off the inside edge. Chop to third. Chisholm. The throw to first. Lead off man retired here in the third. Batting nine. The right fielder, number 16, Blake Perkins. And now the right fielder, Blake Perkins. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. Hey. Right through there for a strike. Yeah. Comes up empty. That's strike two. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Got him looking as the fastball runs back over the inside corner. Well, just a beautiful fastball on the inside corner for that backwards K right there. I think the hitter saw it all the way coming from that opposite arm angle. So I got to think he was looking away and just got locked up by the hard Aye. stuff boring in on his hands. Yelich stands in now and watches strike one. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. Nobody left for Milwaukee, not going their way. It's seven nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the inning, and at the plate for Miami, Jesus Sanchez. The pitch. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. It bangs off the wall. Now he'll turn for second. In safely. It's a double and his second hit. A little more back spin on that instead of the top spin. And he's jogging around the bases rather than pulling up at second. for the Marlins, Nick Gordon. He's 0 for 1. That one ripped. And it hits the base of the wall. Relay throw to second, and he's in there. And a run comes in to score. And that knock bumps his hitting streak into double digits, Chris. He's hitting 10 straight. Yeah, and on a nice trajectory, average going up, OBP, everything he's doing at the plate right now just seems to be working. Jazzism Jr., the next up for the Marlins. He's already homered in this game. Smoke to right center, and this one's gonna go out of here. Another homer. He's done it again. His second homer of the game, and they add a couple more. It's 10 nothing. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boog. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dip. Most times it's the pitcher looking at the scoreboard for velocity, but in this case it's the hitter. He just turned around triple digits at the dish. I don't even know how he saw that pitch. Maybe he didn't, but he got a home run out of it. Nicky Lopez, the next up for the Marlins. Ripped on the ground a second. Fires over to Hoskins. Finally gets the first out here on the grounder. The batter, number three. And now the DH.